the hell? Seriously? Okay, the key's going on. No turning back now. Oh yeah. 100% of the time, it works every time. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number eight on the Trans Euro Trail, riding all the way from the south of England through Wales to the border of Scotland. We're here at a little campsite just outside the town of Newent in Gloucestershire. And actually we were the only people camping here. Everybody else is in these super swish caravans. And we were just like in the corner <laughs> with our dirty little tent and our dirty little motorbikes. But I'm ready to get dirty again today. So let me show you guys our route for today. So we are here and today we are going to be making our way through the Forest of Dean over the River Wye before heading into a brand new section of our Trans Euro Trail adventure, the country of Wales. Yes, today is going to be a major milestone if we manage to get there, because not only are we going through the Forest of Dean and the beautiful Wye Valley National Landscape, but we may just be crossing into Wales today. Yay! Country number two! <laughs> <laughs> Country number two of our two country trip. We're going abroad for the holidays. Yes. It looks like it's going to be a really, really cool ride today. Actually, we've been to the Forest of Dean once before when we cycled from John O'Groats to Lands End. Forest of Dean. We're in the forest. Whee! The Forest of Dean. Just trying to avoid the pine trees. But this time we don't need to use our physical strength. <laughs> Who needs exercise anyway? <laughs> So we've got about a 25 minute ride to pick up the trail in a town called Cinderford, which is right next to the start of the Forest of Dean. So better hit the road, let's go! <laughs> Oh yes, here we go, back on trail, and I can just see a wall of forest up ahead. And that is the Forest of Dean, on the border between England and Wales. Why is it called Forest of Dean? That is something I will have to look up, because I don't know. <laughs> it was a forest of a guy called Dean. The Forest of Dean is one of the surviving ancient woodlands of England. The origin of the name is unknown, but it is thought to come from the Welsh word Din, meaning hill fort. It is a timeless landscape of forests, rivers, hills and valleys and the first park of England to be designated as a national forest. Reserved as an area for royal hunting before 1066, it remains the second largest crown forest in the country. Today, the forest is home to a wide variety of wildlife, including many species of deer and even wild boar. So I just checked the map and it doesn't look like there are any green lanes here in the Forest of Dean. Da -da. So it looks like we're not going to be getting muddy just yet. What's the really pleasant ride though? Well, it's lovely to be riding through the forest, isn't it? Yeah. But anyway, I can see some green lanes coming up after the Forest of Dean as we head into the Wye Valley and towards the border to Wales. This is like my max speed up this hill. <laughs> <laughs> Going like 26 miles an hour. Ah, come on. Come on, Charlie. We're back on the trails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we found our first green lane of the day and it's basically a little footpath behind some houses. Yes. <laughs> but it will do. We are getting out in the nature now, off of the tarmac. Yeah, it's actually really cute. I enjoy little tracks like that. They are definitely fun. I can't tell if it's that way or that way. Wait a second. I think it's straight. Okay. Well, turning around here will be a little bit difficult. We have to stick to our decision. Anyway, it's all right. It's not really muddy. Just some rocks. It's a little bit tight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my lordy lord. Where are we going? I don't know. They get round this tree. Just watch out when you're doing that. You don't tip over to the right. I just stalled it. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
So I'm a little bit like, what is that? I'm stuck on something. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. I love these little green lanes. It's like, is it a footpath? Is it a green lane? We don't know. You can only just get a motorcycle down here. <laughs> oh man. Looks like I got a rock under my bash plate. Hold on. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I do. Let me see if I can just move this rock. Where are we going? Wait a second. Oh no. I'm just gonna lean the bike for a second. Yep, that's uh, I don't have the kind of clearance to get over that. Yeah, yeah, just about. Okay, whoa, a little bit, a little bit scary. Yeah, yeah, this has turned into a little bit of a ridiculous trail, but oh well. There's like these rock walls, but all the rocks have like fallen down into the trail. So we have to deal with all these massive stones. Oh my God. Oh, okay. Just let the bike roll down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Welcome to the Y Valley. Anyway, it's not much further. I can see the bottom. Whew. Hey, the van vans can go everywhere, hey? Can't they? <laughs> oh no! I don't want to ride off the cliff here, you know? Oh, I'm getting warm now. I thought that was our way, and then I saw this tiny little track down here, and I was like, oh no, this is our way. <laughs> <laughs> At least they built a wall here on the side. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's a road. This is madness. The tech route designers were just like, you know what? Let's just send them down that. It'll get them nowhere, but it's good fun. <laughs> it was actually good fun. <laughs> Okay, this bit here is a little bit tricky. Just go along here and then... And I'm going down here. I will just go through the middle here and along the stick. We have a really muddy trail oh, <laughs> ahead. <laughs> Come along to the right here. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's a bit of a step here. A little bit of a step. It's all right. Oh no, it looks like somebody's lost a piece of their car here. Oh no. I think somebody tried to go down here in like a car. We can avoid a lot of these rocks, but if, if you're in a car, you have no chance. Who's coming in a car here? <laughs> okay, that is actually quite... Oh! <laughs> okay. Yep. Uh, still rolling. Still rolling down. We've been lucky so far that we are actually just rolling down today. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of these trails, I don't know if we're going to tackle them uphill. Oh, no idea. I'm back, back on the packs. Oh no, came down here. Oh, there's a big stick. Oh, and into the bush. <laughs> oh, that was a little bit of a bang. Come on, you and. <laughs> okay, it looks like we've finally reached a bit that is going uphill, and is very rocky so this is going to be a real test to see if these little van vans have the power to do this because a lot of people told us before we started the trail that 11 horsepower probably wouldn't be enough 
But so far, we haven't faced a hill that we couldn't climb. But this very well may be the one. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Let's do it. Up, 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 up. Whoa. Okay. Sit. Whew. Okay. Oh my god. I feel a little bit like a tiger pod. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> I think we're up the hill though. Nice. That was absolutely crazy. I was just going everywhere with my arms and my legs and everything. I need some more break. Oh, that was crazy. Oh my God. <gasps> Got some mud coming up here. No. Okay. You're right. Yeah. Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay. Just stay in first, stay on the pegs, keep the pressure on it, just stay balanced. Okay, I think this is a good thing about this trail, like I'm getting used to really, really bad sections. That a section like this here looks like a stroll in the park. <laughs> oh my lordy lord. Wow, that was fun. Now the downhill begins. Okay. Oh my lord. I have clutch open as well first gear just rolling along and I'm putting pressure on my back brake and I will just enjoy the ride <laughs> picking this line now whoa it's a little bit rocky okay nice and slow along this ridge so we don't fall down there oh no I think I will just you know just go through the middle here yeah I'm gonna do that here as well Okay. Anyway, it's fun going through the mud. <laughs> this trail is making up for not be able to ride in the forest of Dean, hey? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, that's so much fun! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that was so close! Okay, just do it. went all the way up here you know gave your bike a little bit of a clean <laughs> i love my little bike did you hurt yourself oh my lord you see this like stick uh-huh <gasps> so that stick is crossing and i went like this and then basically my front wheel just went like that along the stick and that meant that it basically just forced me this way and then i fell that way oh no and i nearly twisted my ankle but i think it's okay yeah yeah. Oh, oh petrol's, petrol's leaking. Let's oh, go. Oh, oh, oh. Ready? Three, two, two one, one, go. <laughs> okay, good. So that's something that I've not encountered before, but something we definitely have to watch out for. Logs that are actually crossing the, the trail because it just slid along. Yeah. Note to self, don't try and ride over slippery logs. Okay, this is our last descent now. Down there is the River Wye and the border to Wales. So we have one last downhill to do, and then we can cross into Wales. Right, I'm just gonna stand up for this one. 
Okay. Woo! Nice. Okay, I'm gonna stand up for this one as well. Made it through. I think that is the end. I think we're gonna be coming down to the River Y now. Survived it! Yay! There it is. The River Y. We did it. And over there is Wales. Why, why, hey? Why are we doing that? After another crazy morning on the trails, we couldn't resist to just stop here by the river and have a cup of coffee. Yes, I definitely needed a rest. It's so much adrenaline going through your body, you know, when you take on these trails. It's madness. Yeah, that last bit, we came from like right up there on the hill and it was just like <laughs> powering down. Yeah. <laughs> Are you eating some rocket? <laughs> yes. <laughs> The perfect place to stop and have a bit of wild rocket. <laughs> we just turned into this green lane here and it's absolutely madness. I just try to keep the pressure on and just go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, bloody hell. I went up like the biggest steps here ever. <gasps> okay. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, God. Woo! It's exhausting. Okay. I just stopped here because Ollie just told me that there's a really big step coming up. A whole series of rock steps, so... Oh god, my heart! <laughs> yeah. Okay, whoa! No, no, I think I'm stuck here actually. My pegs are smashing into the rock. I mean, this is like... I think you have to do it. This is really, really big step here. Mm -mm. Yeah, you can try. At this point, I have to um, surrender. Okay. I don't even know if I can get it up it. I mean, I got up it with my bike, but you don't have as much traction on your tires as I do. Let's see. Okay, not that way. Let's try this way. Yay! Oh, whoa! It was definitely spinning. <laughs> that was really hard to get up. Whoa. That's like definitely the limit for this bike. I mean, 11 horsepower trying to get up that. A slippery, like rock stream thing which is barely a path thank you for rescuing me it's all right look what happened with my back here everything like just <laughs> fell apart <laughs> not easy hey not easy no <laughs> it's not normally this 
Oh, so it's not normally a stream. Oh, well, thank you for helping to make it more difficult for us. <laughs> Okay, we are arriving in the village of Brockweir, and you know what that means? That means we're about to cross the bridge over the River Wye and into Wales. We have conquered the English part of the Tet. We are crossing the bridge to start the Welsh part of the Tet. Woo! Beautiful. Welcome to Wales. And how do you say it in Welsh? Uh, I think it's Creso Kimru. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. I'm sorry to any Welsh people. Can you believe it? In eight days, we managed to conquer the Tet all the way from Dover to Wales. I actually can't believe it. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. Wow. Absolutely stunning here. This is a picturesque place. Yeah, wow. So we're just coming into the ancient village of Tintin. And here is another cool point of interest to see. And I'm pretty sure we're going to see it up ahead in a minute. Yeah, there we go. Tintin Abbey. Whoa, look at that. Incredible. Beautiful. <laughs> Bye, Charlie and Ewan. See you later. Let's go visit this abbey. So we are in shorts and t-shirt. <laughs> We've taken off those super hot motorcycle clothes. And we're also here inside Tintin Abbey. Look at this. Tintin Abbey is a national icon of Wales. The church was first founded here by Cistercian monks in 1131, so nearly a thousand years ago. But it was in 1269, after being commissioned by a wealthy patron called Roger Bigod, that they began building this massive abbey. And now, despite being a ruin, it's still considered a masterpiece of British Gothic architecture. place, eh? Absolutely impressive. You might notice that there's no roof on Tintin Abbey. Well, actually, this place has been a ruin for more than 500 years. And you know who you can blame? King Henry VIII. during the reformation of the church, when the Church of England separated from the Roman Catholic Church, there was a thing called the dissolution of the monasteries. And this monastery was one of those that got closed down and basically was left to ruin. This is called the warming house. And it's called the warming house because this was the place the monks had to come to get warm. There were no fires permitted in the whole of the abbey. The monks were basically expected to suffer the cold, except for this room. Between November the 1st and Good Friday, there was a fire lit just here. 
and the monks could come here, gather round, and warm their absolutely frozen fingers and toes. And can you pronounce this? Yeah. Tea Kansu. So this is the refectory, and this is where the monks would have come to eat their meals. During the winter, the monks were only served one meal per day, and the meal was only bread and vegetables. It was part of the simplistic ideology of the Cistercian church. But it's interesting because they also drank beer, and apparently they drank a gallon of beer per day. And that accounted for 25% of their energy needs. So they didn't get a lot of food, and they were cold most of the time, but at least they had a lot of beer. So it doesn't sound too bad in the end. <laughs> the monks are party hard! <laughs> wow. Wow, when you go inside, you can feel how cold it is. Man, these monks must have been really cold a lot of the time, I can tell you. What a nice visit, hey? Yeah, there we go, guys. The ruins of Tintern Abbey, or in Welsh, Abati Tindern. Good, my love. And it's actually pretty convenient because opposite Tintern Abbey is a pub. So this is called the Anchor Inn, and apparently it also dates to the 12th century. So I guess that means we've got to go in for a beer. Ooh, yep. Yeah. Now that completes the afternoon, doesn't it? So this beer is called Otter Bright comes from a brewery in Devon. So there we go. Cheers. Drinking Devonshire beer in Wales next to this big abbey. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. <sighs> it's quite strong, eh? 